Hi, I'm Dr. Raj Sinha. I'm an orthopedic surgeon specializing in hip and knee replacement, practicing here in Palm Desert, California at Star Orthopedics. I've been in practice for 22 years, the last 16 here in the desert. I've had the good fortune of being involved in designing implants for several different companies. Uh, and I want to tell you a little bit about how we got to a custom knee replacement. So total knee replacement, resurfacing all three compartments, that concept has been around since the early 70s. Initially, they just wanted to prove that the concept would work. And so the early designs of implants were very primitive, very boxy, uh, and, and the instrumentation was very boxy as well. And so the first decade, we, they sort of proved that, hey, if we do this right, people get good pain relief and they're able to walk and get back to some aspect of their lifestyle. As it started to grow in popularity, more and more surgeons wanted to do it, and so we had to improve the technique and specifically make sure that more surgeons with not as much experience could actually make the operation reproducible in their hands. And so the next decade was sort of developing instruments and tools to make the operation reproducible from patient to patient. That was pretty successful as well, and so a lot of patients got them. And as people were starting to get them and feeling good, they started doing more and more, and we were finding that the joints were failing prematurely. So the next decade was understanding why did the joints fail, and the, and the long and the short of it was basically that the plastics and the, and the way they were manufactured was not good enough to withstand the wear and tear of what a happy, healthy, active patient does. And so the next decade was working on manufacturing techniques to get to the plastics to be to the point where they would last a long period of time. And now the plastics that we use, we think will last 20 years or more in most people's hands. Well, the next thing that happened was people started getting more and more active and they started saying, hey, you know, I feel really good, but my recovery was terrible. It took so long and it was painful. And how do we improve upon that? And that ushered in the era of minimally invasive surgery, where we focused on the patient's recovery, smaller incisions, less trauma. How do we redesign instruments to make the operation still reproducible, but not cut as, as much tissue away and do as much damage during the operation. That also included pain management techniques like peripheral nerve blocks, things that really control pain and allow people to walk the same day as the operation. So that was successful too. But the next evolution basically was that people said, okay, I feel great, my recovery wasn't so bad, but I can't do the things that I wanna do. I have residual pain, I've got some residual stiffness, and the knee just doesn't feel normal. I'm happy, but I wish I was happier. 